Donald Trump photo without ear bandage raises eyebrows. <laughs> it raises eyebrows. My eyebrows raise not because of Trump, but because of you, Newsweek. And Newsweek's actually not the worst. Um, they get a lot of things that are decently bad. But um, there's a picture purportedly of Donald Trump climbing up uh, some stairs that was taken on Saturday. Uh, the AP, it was filed. Uh, uh, Donald Trump boards his plane on July 27th. The photo showing, showing Trump seemingly healed ear, uh, his healed ear only two weeks after it was grazed by a bullet has raised eyebrows. I first want to point out this could be a late filing for all we know, that it's a photo from a month ago and the guy who had it just filed it with the AP. I'm assuming it actually is from Saturday, but um, I have come to a startling conclusion, my friends. How could Donald Trump's ear look totally fine with no bandage on it two weeks later? He got a new ear. I got a, I got a crazy idea. It healed. <laughs> That's a conspiracy theory. You take that back right now. It was a graze. It was a it was skin damage that bled and it's been 2 weeks. It healed. And I don't know what else to tell you like I looked up skin abrasion damage and it's like it could take from like 72 hours to a week to heal depending on how deep it is it might have to t take up to two weeks and more serious cuts may require stitches and take up to a month mm -hmm. and i'm like uh-huh a bullet grazed his ear which damaged the skin he wore a bandage it scabbed over it healed he took the bandage off and they're like yeah but he's 78 you take longer than that and i'm like maybe i don't know or it's been two weeks and his ear healed what were they expecting to happen i'm sorry look i certainly i'm like i thought there'd be some kind of scar i am surprised it healed this quickly but assuming it's a photo that's from now, this is them just once again trying to claim Trump actually didn't get shot by saying ears don't heal. <laughs> well, I, I think there's sort of a, the reality that he's a billionaire president, so he probably has access to good medical attention, right? I mean, even if he has some kind of, let's say, clear, very small stitching, right? I think whoever is taking care of Donald Trump knows his ears are going to be photographed and he probably doesn't want them to look mangled or worse than they have to. Um, but I, I think a lot of it is just hysteria because, again, they don't want it to be that this was actually what it was, an attempted assassination where he was hit by the bullet. Uh, and they want it to be shrapnel from the non-broken teleprompter or they want to say, no, 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 he just faked it and popped yeah, the blood thing. Like, gel pack. They, they want it to be something that's not because otherwise you have this uh, really, you know, heroic narrative coming out from the Butler, Pennsylvania rally. And they can't have anything good happen to the Trump campaign. When we, when we talked earlier about the censoring of the photo, right? Like, there are so many people who don't like Donald Trump who saw that photo of him, you know, fist in the air, flag behind him, or saw the clip of him standing up and the reaction from the crowd chanting USA. And we're like, I don't like this guy, but man, like, this is powerful moment for the country. And they can't have that be a, a a victory for Donald Trump. They can't have had something that was so terrifying and sort of like could have been this national tragedy be something that he made into this rallying moment for patriotism. The, the, this narrative that they're pushing with Trump's ear is not that um, he was hit by a shard of glass. The narrative here, if is they're, they're, what they're arguing is that his ear shouldn't be healed, that would imply the gel pack conspiracy theory. That is, when the shots were fired, Donald Trump raises his hand to his ear. Yeah, because he got shot. But they argued that he actually smacked a gel pack in his hat, splattering it all over his face, drops down, and then he's got the gel on his face, the, the fake blood pack. And then it was all staged. He wears a fake bandage for a little bit, takes it off, or, hear me out, it healed. He was our first pro wrestling president. He did learn a lot in that ring with Vince McMahon. 